So, operations, uh, still talking about assets. Um, we, of course, do not do everything that we do, if that makes any sense. Uh, what I mean is, uh, we have uh, supplies, uh, we have supply chains, we have uh, contractors, we have consultants, we have uh, services being provided to us by additional parties. And we need to ensure that uh, the, the terms of, of those contracts, some of which may be confidential, uh, are protected. And, and so, you know, these are some of the, the files or paper files uh, that need to be protected. Um, so we've got uh, service level agreements. Uh, people are providing us uh, uh, different types of services, um, communications, utilities, uh, consulting. Uh, there may be all kinds of services uh, that are being provided to us. And we need to uh, uh, know ourselves uh, what these are. So they you know, have to be available to us if, if we... Uh, come to a point where we're not happy with the service and we're thinking, you know, are they fulfilling the terms of the contract? We've got to have the contract. Uh, I know a number of times that, um, uh, well, <laughs> my own strata at the moment, uh, we're uh, not very happy with some of the contractors um, and, and thinking that, that uh, you know, the services that they provide are not... Uh, proper, not what we need, but uh, what are the contracts like? Are they in fact in breach of contract or did we make a mistake in not being specific enough about the contract and the services required in the first place? So uh, we have uh, those sorts of issues, but also, you know, those contracts, those agreements, um, if our uh, competitors get a hold of them, uh, they would be very interested in, you know, what kind of services are being uh, provided, how much uh, those services are costing us, and, uh, you know, other uh, similar issues there. That, that can be very valuable for them. Um, so we need to protect it from prying eyes. Um, our contractors um, need to get uh, access to our systems, uh, but equally, um, we need to set boundaries on that. What are the uh, uh, the levels, um, the the permissions, the rights that they uh, well, number one, need um, you know least privilege, but we need to give them the privileges that are appropriate to uh, what they're doing for us and what we want them to do for us. Uh, but also, in addition, um, uh, uh, making sure that they don't have too much access. Uh, that's you know, sort of like the, uh, the classic insider attack. And, and so we have to, you know, again, least privilege uh, and, and making sure that they don't have too much access. Um, there's, oh, we, in, in terms of access control, and also we talked about things in, in terms of uh, physical security, um, in terms of facilities access, uh, and, well, in other areas, I mean, um, again, both with regard to physical security and with regard to uh, business continuity, um, you know, what about fire safety issues and other uh, common disasters? there. Um, and uh, again, because these are specialized services, um, we may have uh, uh, specialized contracts or agreements with outside services that are providing uh, for them to support what we are doing. So, uh, now, uh, oh, hey, yeah, again, uh, in a sense, to, to physical security. 
um, because um, it's not really physical security, but we're physical things. And we are not used to dealing with physical things. We're information technology people. Um, we are used to replacing our computers uh, well before their best before date. Um, you know, the, the machinery that we're dealing with um, can run for as long as we uh, as we need it. Um, generally speaking, without needing um, any kind of service or repairs. And so we tend to think maintenance is not an issue. Um, but when we're dealing with physical things, that's not the case. And so um, assets that are important to us have to have maintenance. And this is an area, as I say, that we are not used to thinking about. Um, uh, just in, in terms of uh, turning over computers, usually when we get rid of them, if, if we sell off our uh, systems uh, because we have decided that they are obsolete, but they are still very useful to other people in terms of still functioning, still working. Um, I have a laptop which is uh, around 20 years old and I still use it. It's still useful. It's still functional. It no longer updates in terms of uh, the system updates that uh, different applications are now requiring, but um, there are things that it will do for me. And so, uh, again, when we're getting rid of this equipment, we have to make sure that we scrub it because uh, sometimes we're selling more than we think uh, when we uh, resell some of those issues. But also, you know, the fact that we haven't needed to do maintenance and so we don't think about maintenance. Well, you know, fire, we definitely have to think about maintenance. Those fire extinguishers need to be checked and refilled every year or two. Um, the... Um, Oh, uh, yeah, a lot of the physical uh, security stuff, but uh, you know, uh, doors, windows, um, machinery, some you know, uh, and trolleys, any kind of physical things, our cars, our you know, there's all kinds of things that we have to do maintenance on and pay attention to the recommended maintenance cycles, um, air conditioning, uh, heating, ventilation. Uh, those types of things are going to need very regular servicing. Uh, you know, we don't even vacuum out the insides of our computers. They're not going to collect enough dust uh, in, you know, before we think about replacing them. On the other hand, have I got enough time to tell you? Oh, sure, I can. Uh, the uh, uh, doing service for uh, this satellite communications company, and uh, uh, one guy couldn't get it installed. Uh, and uh, I was obviously dealing with somebody who wasn't used to dealing with a computer, and uh, I, uh, it was floppy disks, and uh, you know, trying to figure out whether he was inserting the disk properly. And I said, "Have you got the you know your thumb on the label?" And he said, "Which parts the label?" I said, "The parts that's not blue." Uh, he said, "Brown." I said, "What?" He said, "The disk is brown." I said. Uh, we don't ship anything on brown uh, diskettes. He said, I oh, uh, joke, this, you know, computer's been in truck bay for quite a while now, and any disk we put in there comes out covered in dust and brown. I said, I think I know what your problem is. So, you know, they, uh, you know what's the environment like? Uh, what do we need? Make sure that we do the, the maintenance as appropriate to what it is that we are protecting and maintaining.